Hey channel fans, so I went ahead and spent $33 on some parts for the recon. I bought a new aftermarket uh, 27 millimeter carb for it because this one hasn't been acting right. I've cleaned it multiple times and there's something going on with it. I've tried to tune it, nothing. The kit that I bought off Amazon, this all came off Amazon came with a new cable. Now since this bike is 21 years old, I'm throwing a new cable on there because the throttle's sticking. But uh, with the original carb, which is actually over here, it comes with this 90 degree, 90 degree bent curve. Now, the one that I got off Amazon did not. So I'm actually gonna swap that over and stick it on here real quick. So let me do that and then I'll get back to you. Now, I'm going to do a video after this, uh, once I get all the carb on and tuned and it runs good, I'm going to do another video. It's how to get more power out of your carburetor. And it has something to do with this, this needle sticking in farther. Really, it's not too complicated, but I ain't got time for this in this video. I'm just going to show you how to uh, just assemble this real quick. So, you basically just push the spring in all the way. Take a little wire out the little side compartment and pull it out. You work it down to a little hole, and voila, you're done. There are the parts in the box. Get the spring, and now the fun part. Because I've never seen it. It's 90 degree angle before. It's actually clamped in there. I don't know if I can get it out or not. <clears throat> hmm. That's not looking good. Okay, that's out. I don't know if I can reuse it or not. Might be a case of a no bueno. Just slide this off like I've already done. I think you can untwist that. I'm gonna go get a pair of pliers and you just untwist it and somehow it comes out of the uh, mechanism. Alright, that part's done, so now I guess you unscrew this. Hmm. I see why the throttle is not working. And getting stuck most of the time. It's all pinched. Oh my gosh, what am I getting myself into? Ooh, well, learning experience. Not too bad. I just had a, a spring at the bottom, that plate, and then the knot. The unscrew this pops out, and it's just ringing around like that, and it should pop right out. There you go. Nice greasy. It's wonderful. And now you need to get under the bike and trace where this line actually goes. So you know how to install the new one. Okay, I got the new one in there. Basically you're just going to reassemble it. Simple stuff. Yeah. Piece by piece. And then I'll show you an update. Okay, this is done. All tightened up. Working again. Got the, uh, the rubber thing on. This has to keep water out. I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, the top cap back on and the screws. And then we'll move on to uh, installing the, um, the thing. Yeah. Everything's done. The, uh, it's easy to uh, operate the, uh, the airflow because that's basically the idle. Uh, and that is right there where the chrome spring is on the side. Not the chrome, the uh, golden spring. Now the uh, the fuel adjustment where you can run it lean or rich is uh, that middle gold thing you see. What you do is you take it all the way counterclockwise until it's tight. You don't want it over tighten it, believe me. And then you back it off one and a half turns 
and this thing's awesome. Uh, I did have to mock up the, uh, make some uh, adjustments because they sent me too long of a wire, throttle cable. Um, it was too long, and it didn't come with this 9 degree bent angle like the old car, so what I ended up doing is cutting it off and mocking it up on here. So since this is a, I actually told you wrong in the beginning, this is a 27 millimeter, and the original one was a 22, not as a 27. So, huge power difference. It's got all new hoses, all in there, real nice and tucked in. Uh, there's literally no room for my hand. I'll even show you a picture. I have to take everything back off and uh, tune it. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, fire it up.